little bit over a week ago now, I posted a video about Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. I get it if you missed the video because I know not everyone watches every video, but Power Rangers Battle for the Grid is a game that I am very, very excited about. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid often is mistaken for Power Rangers Legacy Wars, which is actually a completely different game, although it is made by the same developer. That's why the art style is fairly similar. Power Rangers Battle for the Grid is a brand new console game. It's a fighting game. It's a three versus three fighting game, and I'm really excited about it. Legacy Wars was a mobile game, and it has nothing to do with Battle for the Grid, other than, of course, it shares the same developer. They just dropped a trailer for a new character, Lord Dracon. Well, I say it's a new character. He was already announced, but we had not seen any gameplay footage of him. So I'm very much looking forward to watching this. Let's get into it. Ooh. My name is Zordon of Eltar. I come to you from oh, yo. With a warning. I like that they're putting a little bit of emphasis and story into this. This is cool. His name is Lord I want to see some gameplay, though. Yo, okay. <gasps> yo! That actually looks all Wait, hold on. Yo, he's got some cool stuff. I wonder if you have to hit someone in the air to do that, that thing he did. That looks like an armored wake up. Yo. Wait a minute, they just confirmed Kimberly Hart in the background there. You see that? Yo, Kimberly Hart to the back. Yo, why is the trailer not about her? I mean, she was kind of confirmed before because there's a skin for her on the website, but she wasn't like an officially, like we never saw anything of her. Gosh, Lord Dracon looks cool. I thought what happened here in this clip was that Lord Dracon called in an assist or he switched into another character, but that's just a special move. It's a low mix-up. That's cool. Lord Dracon's gonna be a heavy mix-up character. I can see it coming now. He's got that low attack, and then he's got the armored wake-up, and he's got this move from the air, which looks awesome. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just an air move, though. If it's just an air move, that looks sick. It looks like it's got a long range, so it should hit people. Uh, it should be good for a cross-up, and it should be good for an air-to-air. -air. That's cool. I'm probably playing Lord Dracon. Oh my god. Just realized this combo is sick. Hold on. Look at this move. Look at that. That's going to hit people so frequently. I love that. It's a zoning tool and it's a combo tool. That is brilliant. Let's look at Tommy Oliver. He's got some moves in this too. The Green Ranger. Because we saw some, some moves from him. Whoa, what is that cyclone kick thing? You think that hits overhead? I think that might hit overhead. While I was editing this footage, I noticed that just before he does that big cyclone kick thing, he stays in a kind of crouching running stance. So I think he might have multiple options of that. For people who don't know, for people who don't play 2D fighting games, some characters have moves that you kind of go into it first and then you have multiple options. If you've been playing Jump Force, Gone kind of has something like this. You press his first special move and then you've got multiple options after that. So Tommy Oliver might have multiple options after this. Alternatively, he goes into a stance before he does the move and it allows him to mix up the opponent because it is a full screen move so he could crouch down your opponent could get ready to block you could cancel out of the crouch thing dash up to the opponent and grab them i'll be honest with you right now man i do not know what i'm more excited about i don't know if i'm more excited about mortal kombat 11 i don't know if i'm more excited about jump force dlc and i don't know if i'm more excited about battle for the grid i'm like literally equally excited about all of these awesome things happening right now let me know if you'd like to see a power rangers battle for the grid wish list for characters because right now we only know about about four of the characters. I'm assuming we're gonna start hearing some more stuff now that we got this Lord Dracon trailer. We're probably gonna get trailers for the other three characters and then they'll start announcing new ones with new trailers. I know there were a lot of people worried about Battle for the Grid because it was kind of launching during the same time window as Mortal Kombat 11, but they've actually pushed back that release date. I would imagine that's literally to avoid launching in the same month as Mortal Kombat 11. Plus it gives them more development time to polish up the game, which I'm sure we're all quite excited about because the better this game looks, the better this game feels, the more happy we are as fans. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you're new around here, subscribe to keep up to date with future content. If you're not new around here, perhaps you could leave a like on the video. It helps other people find it. My name has been Bilbsy and I will see you in the next video.